hey everyone so i'm just trying this on the ipad for a change instead of the mobile see if i can get it a bit more stable i'll use the mobile at times when i need to for focusing on things but i just thought i would do a bit of an update thing and start a puzzle slash reading vlog which i've actually got the book under here haven't i good one me um so yeah we will just shift that and yeah, I'm just trying to hold this where I want it viewed kind of thing. Um, I'm still got my, excuse me, hand and wrist things. I'm trying a new type of brace. I subluxed an area in my mid hand and dislocated, actually dislocated the area the other day because um, it took me quite a few days before I got it back into place. But yes, I've also got my bear here. Um, and I've got some puzzle stuff that I'll show you that I've got a review puzzle that I'm going to be working on that I'll show you shortly. I'm also going to continue in this vlog reading um, Threadneedle because I haven't finished it yet and I'm just working on it as I can with things. Um, I've sort of got a little more energy because I found out basically my iron was iron storage and iron levels were really low and so I'm on iron supplements now and stuff like that so yeah hopefully I'll keep getting a little more energy and stuff with time to do things but yeah I've since I've got a review puzzle to do and a review book I thought I might try and start another vlog and continue that with the reading and the puzzles and go from there and just see how things go um I have had my appointment too in Melbourne. I wasn't able to get an official diagnosis, but I know for sure now that it's definitely looking like the hypermobile Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome. So at least I've got an idea of what's going on with me and everything. So now we can try and get on top of things and improve things as much as possible. So <laughs> that is a good thing. Um, but yes, so... I'm just going to stop this briefly. I don't really have any progress updates. I don't remember where I was up to last time. I continued this book with the vlog, but basically just for an update, it's basically um, called Threadneedle. It's based in London. Our main character is Anna, who has been taught by the binders that magic is not a good thing to be used. And so, and now she's sort of being shown some magic and the ways of magic because she's always wanted to be able to do magic, but her aunt is kind of against it and because her aunt is one of the binders and yeah, there's a whole heap of aspects. I actually need to sort of go back and think about it and remember it so that when I continue the book, because it's been a month or more since I last read this, since I did the last vlog, that was basically the last time I read this just because sometimes... And I'll just hold that just be sometimes because of this, I just can't read, which is a bummer and it sucks, but <laughs> not much I can do about it. But yeah, I just thought I would try doing a bit of a vlog again, see how it goes, see if it's something that I can manage or not. And yeah, go from there. Um, so I'm going to actually pause that here, pause this here and I'll bring you back right in a minute when I'm going to show you where I'm up to with the puzzle stuff as well that I've started. Um, the review puzzle that I've got is Clemens Havache or the Playgroup 5000 piece colour puzzle, um, gradient puzzle basically and it was provided to me in exchange for a review and I'm extremely grateful to the Playgroup slash Clemens Havache for providing me with this puzzle for a review. I definitely think it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be interesting seeing how it goes. But yeah, I'm excited and I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, I'm just going to stop this here. I'm going to show you roughly what I've been doing, what I've started on with this, because at the same time, I think I'm thinking what I might try and do is it may end up longer, but I'm going to try and finish this book and do the whole puzzle thing in this vlog. So I'm going to work it specifically around the book and the puzzle basically and that may take a while it depends on my health stuff and how I'm feeling as to how much I get done all of that sort of stuff but I'm hoping to sort of work on it with the vlogs give hints and tips as to what I'm doing and how I'm proceeding with the puzzle show bits of me putting it together 
and showing bits of me doing reading this book and finishing it, being able to do um, give you a bit of a review on that, and then um, obviously do a separate review for this book as well. But so far, I'm really enjoying Thread Needle, and I can't wait to get back to it. I've got some other review books too, also on my list of ones to do, and I'm so excited for them when I get to them. And yeah, it's going to be awesome. So I'm going to stop this here. I'm going to continue this. I don't really want to go into a lot of the medical stuff. It's just things that, like, yes, they're there, but I want to focus on the happier things and the more enjoyable things that I'm doing and focus on those and do those. So do the vlogs about books and puzzles and stuff like that and just say yes the health stuff still is a bit of an issue but I just don't want to go into all the details right now if you have a question or something that you want to ask feel free to put it in the comments or message me privately over on Facebook or something but otherwise yeah I just want to focus on what I can do the enjoyable things doing these vlogs and things um rather than wasting my energy thinking about the negative or how hard things are or about my health stuff and the things with that. I just want to try and boost myself up, get a bit of confidence and achieve what I can. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave that here. I'm going to come back in a minute and I'm going to show you what I've been doing so far with what I've started with this puzzle. I'm not sure if it's going to work out exactly how I started it, but we'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. And yeah, I will see you back in a minute. So I'm back. So this is basically what our puzzle box looks like. This is our 5,000 colour box by Clemens Habershay. Um, this is um, the latest of the gradient puzzles that they do currently. Um, well, the latest version of the gradient puzzles that they do currently and it's 5,000 pieces. So I just thought I would show you the box and show you what these <laughs> pieces look like. So there is a lot of pieces here. As you can tell, I haven't yet sorted a huge heap of these. Yes, my bear is there in the way. There's a bear in there and a chair as well. I'm thinking of play school <laughs> when I was a kid and I just slipped on the salmon packet that I gave Lils to lick off. Good one. Great. So I've probably got a greasy sock now. But yeah, so I've started sorting these by sort of purple, blue, pink, orange, reds, greens, sort of yellowy greens or yellows, whites. This is sort of a mix of browns slash olives, colours, sort of ones that I'm not quite sure which tub to put them in, and then our edge pieces as well. And so, yeah, I got this huge pile of pieces still to finish here. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to worry about finishing it tonight. And, ooh, edge piece. Edge piece. Woohoo. So, we'll put that in there while we're at it. But, yeah, I'm not going to continue this tonight because I'm going to head to bed soon. I might try and read a book. It depends on my energy. bit of my book. It depends on my energy levels. But if I don't, then there's always tomorrow. But, yeah, I'm just going to work on this and this vlog. It might end up being a couple of parts. It might end up being trying to do it all in one, but I'll probably split it into a couple of parts just to try and um, fit it in at the time. I've also got my laptop over there currently, and that is the other 4,000 piece puzzle that I finished sorting for when I can get to it next because the review puzzle kind of comes first. But, yeah, so I'll probably split these over a few parts between the reading and the puzzle and... Yeah, I'll look forward to it. And yeah, if um, you enjoyed this, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. I always love hearing from you. And yeah, I'm going to leave that here for the night. I'm probably going to keep trying to do this tomorrow because I just really need to get some rest right now. I'm completely out of energy and stuff. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this and I will see you later. Bye.
everyone just a quick update on the puzzle sorting so i haven't been very well for the last week so i've just been gradually doing this at times whilst i've been watching movies and that but the sorting for the clemens have a sheaf 5000 piece gradient puzzle is now done i'm certain there are some pieces that i've put in here that are the wrong colors or whatever um because it's very hard to tell some of the colors at times like some of these kind of look yellow but it's kind of hard to tell so but those couple of bits look yellow Let's so does that and that piece but yeah there's sort of i'm sort of not sure that one could be uh yellow uh i don't know but yeah so i'm certain there could be some mixed light color pieces and dark color pieces here but so i've basically sorted all the colors now i ended up mixing some of the lights trying to work out which tones go where as i was doing it as i said i i doubt i've got all of them exact because it was very hard to match some with the light tones but i've basically done this in edge pieces here then i've got blues um I've tried doing pinks, but some, wait, that looks more orangish than pink, but some sort of look pinkish orange and they aren't. And so it's kind of, that's what I was saying about it. It's very hard to sort of tell and put them in the right spots kind of thing. So I've just been, I've tried to do the best I can with them, but yeah, they're probably not exactly correct. But that one does look green that one looks yellow but then it's like yeah i really have no idea so yeah but um just do the best we can i've also got purples here and i've tried mixing i um, tried working out which were the correct color tones for what but I haven't totally worked it all out yet, so as I said, I'm sure there's some of the wrong colours in places. And then I've tried doing oranges here. That kind of looks a yellowy green. Like there's some spots in there that look yellow, but they're actually orangish. So it's kind of very hard to sort of tell the specific colour tones at times. But I've done the best I can. Then I've got like my brownie sort of dark colours. The reddishes. And there's bits of purples in there as well. And there's bits of purples there. But I didn't realise that till after it was done. And I couldn't be bothered resorting. Then I sort of got my yellows and greeny yellows. And olive green yellows into the darker olive colours. And my greens. So yeah. I haven't done any reading yet either. Just because I've been totally exhausted. And feeling average with my... Um, how I've been feeling but yeah I'm just gonna as I said do this for a little bit as I can also got my bear here with me and yeah so anyway I'm going to leave it at that I'm not sure if I'll get to doing any of this today or not if I do I've tried putting my camera up here but it keeps falling so it's not working out so well on the tripod in fact the thing with the tripod as well as you can tell the tripod's got a lean on it now but <laughs> yeah i'll see how i go anyways to if i get any done or not because i'm quite tired and yeah i hope you've enjoyed this and yeah i got the computer there i just sent her thing with my emails and yeah so yeah i hope you'll enjoy this bit of a vlog anyway i'm just trying to do the best i can as my health allows and yeah i hope you'll enjoy this and yeah i hope to do some reading and more stuff like that soon but yeah i'll just see how it all goes so yeah i'll see you later
So just quickly here, and I'm just gonna say this. I just, since I'm doing pointers and tips with what I'm doing with this current puzzle with the 5,000 piece gradient puzzle from Clemens Habershay. So this puzzle, um, I just thought I would come in with another hint and tip on how I've, I've just worked this out and how I wanna proceed with this. I'm just shifting my foot thing from my ankle out of the way quickly. Um, but yeah, um, what I sort of realized I could do with these was basically, I've sort of roughly by colors, but obviously it's not exactly perfect. As you can tell here, I'm separating into different color tones based on what I can see, um, like the yellowish greens or deeper greens and that, because I've got the border down now, but I'm actually, um, even though I've got the border down, I've actually, um, what am I saying? I've actually realized that if I separate the, um, uh, no, what am I, what am I saying? I don't know. Um, basically what I was thinking was because I've got green on both sides, dark on the bottom and white on the tops. And usually I use the border as my starting point. So, and I've noticed a lot of people say, oh, I don't rely on using the border and that for this one as a starting point. So I've been thinking about, well, what's a way that I can actually go ahead and do this using that starting point and trying to tell the colours. And I'm actually noticing it must depend on the time frame as to how easy to see the colours or maybe it was just that I was tired. But I'm actually finding myself able to see the colours a bit better and easier tonight. Um, but I was thinking about it and I was, I just tipped out this pile and I just started sorting through it and I realized, well, even though, yes, there's a difference in colors, I can still separate those into different colored piles and use that in, um, in how I sort these to start putting them together because I was thinking, I have no idea how I'm going to know how to put these together. Like even I've got some further up here that are more white. So I've got like bluey tones here, yellowish greenish tones, greenish tones. And because it's green on either side, I thought, well, if I start with the green, at least it's something to work in. And there's the other edge piece I was missing. So yay, that's done there. But I thought um, that might be a way to start working through this rather than just trying to randomly because I've tried to sort by colors so I'll just show you well you saw them all before but I've got a whole heap of puzzle tubs with different colors but I haven't been able to totally separate or whatever and so I thought well if I start by first mixing like the the bluey colors or sep trying to separate what colors I've got per tub and work with them it gives me a starting point to start connecting colors I guess you could say so that's kind of where I decided to start with because I thought well otherwise I just have no clue how or where to start so I'm trying to sort of get a bit of an idea and just look through the colors, sort through them, and then I'm separating them based on what colors I'm finding. So yeah, I hope that helps anyway. I do wanna try and get to some more of the reading vlog, reading stuff too, but um, yeah, I'm hoping to do that sooner than later, but yeah, I'm just sort of sorting through, trying to separate these into different piles at the minute. So yeah, um, I hope this kind of helps anyway. I do. I'm trying to anyway. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to leave that there. I just thought I would bring that in and so that's what I'm trying to do. As you can notice, I've got a whole heap of 
sort of greeny tones out here. Um, I'm certain that some of the greens are in with the blue as well. But yeah, just got to do the best we can to work with what we've got. And yeah, I'm just trying to do my best to separate these in a way that I can actually work with it and start using them. And then I'll go through and probably once I've roughly separated them, I'll probably go through and split things again and check through to make sure that I haven't put wrong colours because that always happens. I always end up putting wrong colours somewhere. So, <laughs> yeah, I always double, triple check just because you're not going to get it right first time or every time and that's why I usually end up doing multiple sorts when I'm doing my puzzles. But, yeah, um, even if I don't end up with reading in this one, I will attempt to shall we say um add it in the next part of the or... sorry stupid thing i try to put books there so it doesn't slide and it still slides either way i'm going to definitely be incorporating books and stuff into this vlog as well into these vlogs as well it's just Working out how to do it all with time and just splitting it into parts as best I can. Right now, I know it's more puzzle stuff so far that I've been doing. But yeah, I do want to incorporate like the books and reading stuff into it as well. But we'll get there eventually. I've just, because I haven't been well, I haven't really been feeling up to a lot of the rest. So... But yeah, I'm just going to keep going here and separating these puzzle pieces. I know there's a whole heap more here that you can't see. So <laughs> I'm going to keep doing that and trying to get these started sorting into rough piles so that I can sort of start working out what's going, how things are going to try and get them together so that I can start getting some colours put together because otherwise it's just going to be plain tricky because even me looking at this in the beginning I was like overwhelmed looking at it it's like I have no idea how I'm even going to get that done so I'm trying to I'm more separating just the small parts at the, the light area I'm finding the light areas at the minute and then I'm going to go back in and sort out the other colours too but yeah I hope this helps anyway I just wanted to do some hints and tips as I'm doing this puzzle shall we say and I've got some yellow bits that I'm finding in here and stuff so I was completely right about the fact that there was going to be some things wrong or some things missing and that in it so or wrong colours. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, hope this helps. And, yeah, I'm just trying to separate the... Do this as best I can. So, yeah, and I hope it'll help. So, I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to keep doing this. And then I'm probably going to head to bed for tonight. But... Yeah, something to work on. This may end up turning into just a puzzle vlog and then I may do the reading vlog separate. So, in the end, I have no idea quite yet how I'm going to do it, but we'll work it out. Because, yeah, I was intending on using both in one, but I may end up doing them separate just because of the length of time and stuff. With doing these, so... Yes, so we'll work it out. So I hope this will help anyway. I just thought that I would do a bit of a, I guess, almost like a bit of a vlog slash tutorial to try and help others doing this puzzle. I guess you could say. So yeah, I'm going to leave that there and I'm going to keep going here and then I'm going to leave it for the night. So yeah, I hope this helps. And... Um, even if I finish this before um, I finish 
This puzzle, I don't think I'm going to cover the whole puzzle in the one thing. I think I'm going to have to do this in parts. So I might even leave it there with this part. And just do a little bit more of this and just see that. And then, yeah, we we'll probably, um, I'll bring it back once I've finished this sorting with these green parts. And then we can come back in. I can finish the vlog bit there and then we can continue with the next bits for the next one and I'm going to I'm intending on live streaming some more of this puzzle as well it's just currently I just really haven't been sort of feeling the most well this last week and I'm just starting to get better now so I'm sort of I don't want to start live streaming and then have to stop just because I don't feel well or something like that so I'm sort of waiting till I feel quite a bit better and can manage to do the live stream again because I really love doing those. So yeah, I'm going to leave that here and keep going and I hope you'll enjoy this and yeah, I will bring you back once I'm done and show you exactly what I've done with the sorting of these colour pieces for this part. I will. So, hey everyone, I just thought I'd bring you back. I think I am going to leave it here um, and continue on with this at the next part. But this is basically what I've done with the puzzle pieces. So I've tried sorting it by like, I think there's some bluey greens which shouldn't be in there, but I'm not totally sure, so I haven't packed them away. These ones, I'm sort of, you can tell, I think they're more yellowies, but yellowies and some whites, but, um, slash yellowy greens but I'm not totally sure but then I've tried sorting these in sort of like the light colors to like yellowish greens to like bluish greens and then I've tried doing the more solid colors which are a bit all over the place um but yeah I've also well I think I've finished the edge border I could have gotten some pieces wrong <laughs> I don't know but yeah I think I'm going to leave it at there for this part um and I'll upload and do this part and then the next part because I think I'm going to actually separate the puzzle and the reading stuff. So um, one's focused on puzzle for puzzle lovers, one's focused on books for book lovers kind of thing. But yeah, I'm just going to work on this, but I just can't do any more because I'm feeling too exhausted and starting to get a headache and stuff back again. And so yeah, I'm going to leave that here. I hope this helps anyway as I do this puzzle in case you're wondering how to do this or you're interested in doing this but too scared because it's such a large puzzle and yeah um i will see you later bye